Hello, guys. I am your host, Green. Today I will narrate the best wildlife documentary made by me. Please like the video and perhaps consider subscribing. It really helps a lot. Now, on to the video. As you can see, this purple lion lives freely in the grass, showing that it plays a vital role. This species of lion is native to this land and has been here for the past 10,000 years. This fierce predator is now hunting for candy, the main diet of this big barney feline. The search is worth it, as it has found a lemon candy. This lion consumes about 8 pounds of candy in one sitting. It has special glands to process sugar. There are nomadic humans coming to the land of purple lions. However, humans are not the only thing that are aboard this ship. A curious little fella from the human's homeland has come aboard. A lemon fox. And be known to anyone, this canine will become a future problem for the purple felines. Once the fox reaches the new island, it finds the climate to be habitable. The fox instantly searches for food and digs up heaps of candy. This helps it reproduce. Candy can become limited if foxes reproduce and eat all of it. Purple lions don't eat anything else. After a while of eating and reproducing, the lion has a hard time finding food. The foxes are too fast when it comes to candy. The lion is about to starve. Sadly, this male lion passes away due to starvation. Others of his species also die due to hunger. Not only that, but these pesky foxes have also stolen candy from candy farmers. Not only that, but since the lions are gone, there is a swarm of foxes. The farmers are losing money. Lastly, many wild candy plants have been eradicated and extinct due to these foxes. Now, my friend, you may be asking what role do these foxes play? The answer is simple. They are called an invasive species. What is that? Well, allow me to explain. Most organisms have a place where they originate from, where they are part of the food chain. These organisms are indigenous, meaning they are native to their geographical area. Those foxes you saw were not native to the area where the lions lived. They caused an imbalance. This imbalance I speak of has to do with the environment and the economy. Once something has no balance, it is hard to get back to normal thus, creating many problems. What is an invasive species, you may ask? They have to have these special characteristics. Invasive species have to adapt and reproduce quickly. They also have to cause harm. They can cause harm economically or environmentally. For example, this cane toad from Australia. It is important for humans to regulate and control what species they introduce in different areas. We do not want to end up in a world where important to organisms are extinct. This can be a problem. I encourage you folks to not release any animals into the wild. Especially domestic animals. This could be your pet fish, birds, reptiles, etc. They could become an invasive species. Other than that, thank you for watching this educational video. I hope you learned something new. Thanks to Auto Animations for letting me use her character as an example of invasive species. I hope you have a good day. Thanks for watching.